Previously, I showed you how to use this Zigbee vibration sensor. Today, we're going to look at this vibration sensor with 433 MHz protocol instead. It is much slimmer, but a little bit taller. Looking at it from another angle, you can see that it is a little bit chunkier or uh, thicker. In order to open it and access the battery, all you have to do is press in right here at this little indentation, press it in, and then lift the cover straight up. Once you open it up, you will see this 12 volt power supply. If you're buying this unit from AliExpress, for instance, the battery is not included. It uses this funky 23A battery, which is 12 volt. The battery seems to last forever. On the board itself, there's no options whatsoever. There's no siren. There's no option to change the sensitivity, just as we did previously with the Zigbee one. In terms of sensitivity, I would say both of them are equally the same. The only true difference is that this thing is 433 MHz, as I mentioned earlier. What does that mean? This means that I can easily install this in my car. Yes, this is another sensor to protect my cars in a bad neighborhood. Now, if I were to install this Zigbee onto my car, and I drive the car very, very far away, this Zigbee sensor will always try to phone home, try to find a hub, try to find where it belongs in the Zigbee network. Of course, if I'm far away from the house, then this will deplete the battery instantly. Whereas this 433 MHz sensor doesn't care where it is in the network. So it won't deplete this battery as fast as this Zigbee sensor on the right hand side. Now to get this vibration sensor working with your hub, you need something like a Sonoff RF bridge, which I have right here. Go into the console and start looking for the code that it emits whenever there's a vibration. You're looking for something like this, data, colon, something, 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 RF key. And once you have the hex code, go ahead and inject it into your configuration. This is a sample of my vibration sensor that I added into Home Assistant. And here is the hex code at a pool from the Sonoff RF bridge. Whenever vibration is detected, it will emit this hex code. And with this hex code, Home Assistant will do whatever I want. For instance, if somebody broke the glass or using a crowbar, that would definitely vibrate the car and I would be alerted immediately. The lights will automatically come on or even a siren if needed. I right, hopefully this video helps you on how this vibration sensor works. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.